Hello people, in this video let us understand uh, the classification of um, chromosomal disorder. Basically if you want to understand the classification of what? Of chromosomal disorder. Understand. So chromosomal disorders can be <coughs> autosomal, or, autosomal or allosomal. That's all. If somebody asks you chromosomal disorders classification, you will just write these two. Autosomal and allosomal. Okay. Now uh, what is... Um, Allosomal. What is autosomal? Autosomal means the numbered chromosome. Chromosome 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, till 22. <clears throat> if there is problem with these chromosomes which are numbered autosomal, what is allosomal? That is sex chromosome. That is, there are only two, X and Y. If it is something to do with X and Y, it is allosomal. And if it is something to do with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on till 22. That is the numbered chromosomes which are not the sex chromosomes. Then it will be autosomal. So if somebody asks you, tell the classification of chromosomal uh, abnormalities, chromosomal disorders, just say autosomal, allosomal. Very easy. Very good. Now let us go one more step ahead. Let's go to the textbook and find out what those, what those chromosomal abnormalities are. Now look at this. We are looking only at this part, what you're seeing here. This, these are the chromosomal abnormalities. We are not looking at the uh, table at the bottom. Okay, that is for contiguous gene disorders. In this question, they have asked only chromosomal abnormalities. So we will look only at chromosomal abnormalities, not at the continuous gene disorders. So now here, what are you seeing? Numerical chromosomal abnormalities. These, that means the autosomal. Autosomal, what and all you will tell? Down's syndrome. Edward syndrome, Patau syndrome, Downs is what? Trisomy 21, Trisomy 18, Trisomy 13 is Patau, Patau, Patau 13, Patau 13, Trisomy 13. That means three chromosomes of 13 are present instead of two. Again here, Trisomy 18 means Edwards. That means three chromosomes are present of 18, 18, 3, 18 numbered chromosomes. And Down syndrome, you very well know, it's Trisomy 21. So this is aneuploidy, isn't it? <clears throat> so, uh, how will the karyotyping be? Uh, or you, how will you say 47, 47, 47? All these instead of 46 have become 47. So, what is there here? 47xy, 47xy plus 21 is extra, plus 18 is extra, plus 13 is extra. So, 47xy plus 13. So, totally these people have 47xy plus 13. See, this is normal karyotype 46xy, right? So, 46 means what? What is 46 telling you? Total number of chromosomes it is telling you. What is 46 telling you? It is the total number of chromosomes it is telling you. See, 22 plus 22 uh, is only 42. Sorry, 44. It, it is not saying 44 and X and Y. No, no, no. It's, what is karyotyping? Total number of chromosomes, that is 46. And then you are telling the details about this. So everybody knows what, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, everybody knows. So they are just telling you it is X and Y. And then they are telling you total number of, in a Down syndrome, total number of chromosomes is 47X and Y plus 21 is extra. It need not be XY, it can be even XX, even girls can have Down syndrome. So it can be XX plus 21, XY plus 21, but 47 is sure. Okay, total number of chromosomes are told first in the karyotype. Now let us go to the other half guys, the, what we have left, uh, this one, sex chromosomes part. Who is paying attention? We are now moving on to this allosomal part. Okay. Now pay attention here. See here, allosomal, uh, what and all you have to remember, no? Only four things you have to know. Klein filters, XYY, triple X, ternus. Okay, let me tell you here. This is XXY, right? Klein filters is XXY. Then they have written ternus, you know, X, that one, you know. Klein filters, ternus, that much you know, I think, right? No need to tell you uh, more on this. Cli uh, Turner's is X that we know. Uh, then Kleinfelter's is XXY. So basically let us focus on Kleinfelter's now. What say people? Is it going fine? Look at this one now. So basically uh, Kleinfelter's. Let's focus on Kleinfelter's now. Kleinfelter's is a boy. Kleinfelter. So he will be XY. Yes. But he'll have an extra X. So what will happen? He'll be an infertile male. He's going to be 47 because he has total 47 chromosomes. He's XXY. He's infertile. He'll have gynecomastia. He'll have small testis. So he'll be infertile. So this is a genetic condition. It is an allosomal sex linked. Okay. Now let us go to the Turner syndrome one. Now in Turner syndrome, it is going to be a female. So we need a pink so Turner syndrome, Turner syndrome is a female who has 
x that is she does not have extra x or y unfortunately though one x is sufficient this condition is again going to be having uh, uh, just a phenotypic female with primary amino hoia right so she's again infertile you can say so here it is 45 comma x no need to write zero some people write the zero here right no need to write the zero just undo undo Yes, 45X is what? 45X is what? 45X is what? Turner syndrome, Turner syndrome. This much is enough, guys. I think no need to know this uh, X, Y, Y and triple X and all. Triple X I like, kind of like, you know. It's like a super, super female. And triple Y, uh, I mean, X, Y, Y sounds like a super male to me. What does it sound uh, tell you? <coughs> super female, super male, is it? Anyways, those are the names that we are giving, not the textbook. So, did you understand, guys, um, how to classify chromosomal abnormalities? If you have understood how to classify chromosomal abnormalities, good. Okay, bye-bye. Guys, just go a little one step ahead if the marks is more, okay, in the exam. And just, just explain this, okay. There are some autosomal dominant conditions. These are more like gene, okay. This is not entire chromosome, but the gene is located on this chromosome. So, if you want, you can mention this, okay. There are autosomal dominant conditions and there are autosomal recessive conditions. Let's look at some examples, okay. Autosomal dominant, remember, tuberous sclerosis, polycystic kidney disease, Marfan's is uh, dominant neurofibromatosis type 1 type 2 both you can write right then um, what else uh, ehler danlos syndrome osteogenesis imperfecta osteogenesis imperfecta that autosclerosis thing right i would also like to remember uh, 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 hereditary spherocytosis okay so try to remember uh, they can just ask you you know list the names and then if you can list these names you will get a lot of marks okay now let's check the recessive conditions which are linked to the numbered chromosomes. So here you have uh, thalassemia, sickle cell. Do you know any of these? Again, polycystic kidney disease. Like if you write polycystic this kidney disease here and there, everywhere it looks fine, looks like. Wilson's, Wilson's, the copper metabolism one, right? Then. Alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia, we'll just write thalassemia, this much. So recessive, remember, again, polycystic kidney disease, um, Wilson's thalassemia sickle cell disease. Please remember these three, okay? Then uh, what are the allosomal uh, gene conditions that you should know? X-linked, they're not talking about Y at all. X-linked, you have hemophilia, very famous, Duchenne's, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, that is X-linked, is it? Oh, nice, okay. And Alport, okay.